Yeah, well, our guys played a terrific game this afternoon. I, uh, start to finish, I thought we played hard. I thought Maryland played really hard and well. We had some spurts uh, and hit. You know, we, we we hit threes well today. You know, 50% from threes and got a little bit of a momentum and some separation in the first half and again in the second half. Uh, uh, and we just played. You know, I, I thought we played well. I didn't. Again, uh, their coaching staff can talk about how they. I thought they. You know, they're big and strong, and I thought they played very aggressive and good basketball. And we just played a little bit better. You know, we played a little bit better. Uh, huge shot in that second half was when, you know, Neil's shot was blocked with a nine-point lead, and uh, we got the loose ball, and Seth got that ball right in front of our bench, and hit a three, I think it put us up by 12, and it, it just, you know, it was a, like the, a Duke shot, you know, so I thought when we had 12 and Quinn came down one time, and he just, he took a good shot from the top of the key and missed it. Our guys were taking Duke shots today. They were playing with, uh, with a good, you know, real good spirit. I'm not going to use verve. Huh. Just, uh, <laughs> Kind of the same, it's the same thing. Just, I, see, I read some of this stuff. <laughs> some, not every. At least there's one. There's, I, I, got, the, I got the, and uh, uh, but it was a really good spirit today. I mean, an outstanding spirit, and the crowd was great. And yeah, you know, I think it's our first step to be, you know, becoming who we're going to be now. You know, we're obviously a different team uh, without Ryan and. We have to play like we won't have him. I think we will have him at some time, but we have to figure out who we are without him. Uh, I thought we handled the ball well, only four turnovers and 18 assists, and uh, just a good game. Uh, our, our preparation was intense, uh, uh, and, and we played that way. So very proud of our team. In what areas was the team sharper offensively than I think maybe? Well, I just think in every way. I, I, also, guys are be, you know, becoming a little bit more familiar with playing with one another. And remember that, I know it's hard for people to understand this, but Seth hardly practices. You know, he's practiced about 65 times. He's probably have missed 45, 46 practices. So when you are starting to put something new in, if he's not practicing, you still don't get the continuity that you would. With, and he's a key, he's one of our best players. So uh, he did practice on Thursday. You know, we took him out of the Miami game early. So, you know, we were getting get killed. And uh, because of that, you know, we are almost already preparing for the next thing. And he, he, was, he felt good enough to practice on Thursday. I think it really helped us. You know, anytime he can practice, then that day we're going to get better than if he didn't practice. We've been dealing with it the whole year, but when you have Ryan and Mason playing, you don't see it as much. When only one of them is playing, then it's it's a lot different. Coach, the uh, the fans were seem somewhat happy that that's it for Maryland coming here, or could be. Yeah, like I don't I don't I don't know how the fans felt. How you do you feel? Them. How do you feel? About. I don't feel anything. I feel it, it, ecstatic that we won. And whatever decision schools want to make, they, they make them. Coach, you so talked about the turnovers. I, I have, you know, I've only had so much room for feelings. And, you know, my family, I just met my grandkids again, and Billy King and Danny Ferry. My feelings are all over the place. So to really come in touch with conference feelings right now is very difficult. Was there a bit of extra emphasis on the turnovers or protecting the ball? You said they just had 4-0 in the second half. Yeah, you know, we, we've been pretty good at that. Yeah. You know, so, you know, the, the game against Miami, I, I, I really, first of all, they're very, very good. I mean, they're old. They're old and together. There's not one young guy. And because Larkin is, plays older. And he's one of the best guards in the country, I think. And... I thought we, we were in shock when we couldn't put the ball. I mean, we missed layups, free throws, and open shots. And it was like we were shocked. I mean, 
I, I can't remember a game where three guards went one for 29. You know, you had Mason in there, and it's uh, six for 44 or something like that. You know, and unusual. I mean, they they would have beaten us if we would have shot 40 percent, but we would have played that. You got to see the ball go in the basket. Right. You know, and especially when you're young. We're a younger team now, and if you don't see it go, you got to see it go in. You know, and today we executed a lot better. Looked like Rashid was shooting right away with no hesitation. Was that a point of emphasis? Well, Rashid played a great game. I didn't think he started out well. You know, Wells got three offensive rebounds against him and got their first seven points. And when we took him out, we got on him. So, you know, I, and he did something that I think is so terrific. He just, he right away, like I said, you got whatever I said to him. And he said, I got you, coach. I'll do better. Okay. So he just embraced responsibility. And anybody who embraces responsibility has a chance to do better. Like, it's, it's my fault. I'm responsible for that. And he came in the game right up, and boy, you know, you know, he gave us a huge lift there. And he was five for five from threes. And um, that was a great performance. You know, especially after he started out that way. It seemed like your defense really set the tone for this, for the way the game was going to be played. You picked up further out. You just seemed like you were more aggressive. Your guys were more aggressive on the ball throughout. You know, and we we we've been a really good defensive team. The last game, we were horrible in everything. You know, just in everything. So, but overall, we've been we've been good. You know, and we're better with when we have two big guys in because Ryan is so cerebral. I mean, people, like, he's like having another coach on the floor, both offensively and defensively. He, you know, so we, we have to figure out a little bit how we better, how we play defense with this group. And Emil played really well. No, Emil played a terrific game. I mean, and he was outweighed by about 60 pounds. I mean, they're a big team, boy. I mean, they're at every position. They're obviously well coached. And I thought they played with a good spirit. You know, Len is a, is a great, great talent. And, uh, uh, but, you know, I think we, we shoot a little bit better than they do. And so if they, when we started rebounding the offensive, their offensive boards, that's when we, you know, we got the lead.